Welcome everyone to the campus of Oak Grove High School as your War Eagles are getting ready to take on the Warriors <clears throat> over here tonight. Got k Dog with us over here, the machine over here. Kenny, <clears throat> got a big order here tonight taking on these old, uh, these old Warriors and got a couple of key components going to be missing from the War Eagle Arsenal tonight in our quarterback, Fat, and also we've lost Trey, I just lost Trey Williamson, but like Coach Mangum said, next man up. Yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. With Trey gone, uh, you know, that just puts us back. And fortunately, we've got a couple of guys behind him that are decent running backs, uh, a little young, but uh, we're just going to have to make do the best we can. It's uh, it's sort of like, you know, when uh, Sam Houston sent the guy out to go find, or, or they sent the guy out from Alamo to go talk to Sam Houston. He sent back and said, I got no help for you, you know. Uh, hold out long as you can. That's all we can do. So, you know, with uh, Travis and that bunch to Alamo, we're sort of in the same situation. Paul, it's a great opportunity to come over here, 6A school, one of the better programs. <clears throat> you know, you want to find out how good you are, come over here and you'll find out. Yeah, and with, uh, with Trey Williamson out, you know, it's not only an offensive blow, but the defensive secondary and Oak Grove's probably, they're probably in there throwing the ball around right now in the locker room. I mean, they're going to come out and they're going to pass and pass and then they're going to pass some more. And just when you think they're going to run, they're going to pass and uh, uh, really should be a good, good challenge for the War Eagles. You know, one thing last week, we didn't have to punt. We didn't have to punt. And that's been on my mind all week. You know, Bryce Mason did an outstanding job of reeling in some snaps and getting that ball down. <clears throat> I'm anxious to see tonight if we have to punt from deep in our territory how that exchange is going to work. I don't think it's going to be a question of if we have to punt tonight. It's going to be how many times and from where. Uh, because, you know, Oak Grove's defense is good with those guys they've got on that side of the football. I think, you know, that with you know, you got three D1 prospects on defense, you know, two defensive ends and a linebacker. That doesn't leave a whole lot of room for you to go with football, you know, especially on the ground. But then, too, offensively, you know, I mean, we can – We've got a chance to move the ball, but with their offense like it is, then they've got that jumbo package, you know, where they get the middle linebacker and one of the defensive ends back there, and, you know, you got, you know, six folks in the backfield, 12 on the line of scrimmage, and they just run over you. So, I mean, it's going to be a tough ball game for us tonight. He mentioned the jumbo package, and Coach Mangum mentioned it. If my memory serves me correctly, <clears throat> this is not your typical – Oh, uh, not your typical warrior football team. I mean, you know, you usually think of these guys as flash and finesse. Sound like they're a power team this year. They, they do, and, and I asked defensive coordinator Justin Cooley uh, this week about that jumbo package, and he said, he said that he had really looked at the film the last three times that they had played Oak Grove, and Oak Grove never jumped into that jumbo package, and they never started the game with it. So basically they started pretty much the same way all three games. It'll be interesting to see what they do. You know, are they going to throw the War Eagles a curve? And as far as those defensive ends, you got to think, run a little misdirection and hope that they over pursue and you sneak. I mean, literally though, and you sneak past them because they're over pursuing something and not playing their assignments. That may be the best way to battle those defensive ends. Any closing comments before we wrap this thing up? Well, I, you know, we've got to hang on and holler for help a lot tonight. Uh, you know, and again, like Paul said, they they ran that big package last week, Jumbo they call it, against Purvis, and they just ran it down Purvis's throat uh, first part of the ball game, got up a couple of scores. So, you know, what do we see tonight? I mean, who knows? We'll know when we kick off. And one thing for sure, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with the head coach of the War Eagles, Todd Mangum, after this word from our sponsors. Here we are with Coach Mangum getting ready to take on these old Warriors tonight. What's up, uh, Coach? This is uh, it's been a tough, it's been a, it's been a tough pull over here tasting these old Warriors the last four years. And with the, let's look at their defense for a minute. They got two just really rangy defensive ends and a big guy in the middle. I mean, what kind of problems are they going to pose for what you want to do offensively? Well, it all starts up front. They got a, you know, like you said, a big nose who just kind of clogs up the middle and then. Two outstanding defensive ends. It's got they're they're long and can run, and they, they just cause a lot of problems up front. In the, in the last week, they didn't do a lot of blitzing. They just let their front take care of everything. And at linebacker, they're they're big physical guys who run well. And in the secondary, just got guys that do a good job of covering and 
and everything. Just a solid, you know, Oak Grove defense, which about eight of these guys are coming back from last year on defense. So that's where uh, that's where they are. Uh, you know, you had a real good offensive outing last week against West Jones, and certainly, you know, first games you never know what what's what. They say you have a vast improvement, your best improvement from week one to week two. Where are you looking at to improve offensively for tonight? Well, I, I think we've got to eliminate we got to eliminate some penalties. That's what hurt us last week, especially in the first half in the red zone, getting penalties and having to settle for field goals as opposed to getting touchdowns. Uh, but we've got to be consistent. You know, we'll be without without fad at quarterback. Uh, we saw Brian came in and did an outstanding job. We'll be without Trey Williamson. Uh, you know, he's, he's done for the season, has a torn ACL. So, you know, we've got to pick up next man up. But we just got to be more consistent, and we've got to eliminate penalties. Let's roll over now and look at, you know, with uh, at their offense. I mean, you know, they were lights out throwing the football, had over 500 yards, uh, very well distributed between the pass and the run. What particularly do you think you're going to need to do defensively to slow them down? Well, we, got it. we, we need to win on first down. Uh, that first down needs to be real big for us. If we win on first down and then force them to throw the ball, which now they've got a quarterback that, that does both really, really well. He can run and throw. Got a big time receiver outside they like to get it to. But uh, they'll get, you know, they'll get in some big boy sets and just line up and pound on you. So we need to win on first down. If we win on first down, then if we can get it to third and long, we like our chances there. Coach, we appreciate you taking time to talk to us. Good luck to you tonight. Go get them. We're going to take a break, and uh, we'll be back with Wayne County High School War Eagle football after this word from our sponsors. Because he said two of us couldn't ride one down. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have enough rope to throw over the side. So uh, It's a tall stadium. And uh, you get up on that press box on the other side, it's, look, it's, it's way on up there. The War Eagles are coming in down here. they got to uh, sign up and a pretty good War Eagle contingent here. I mean, our stands are probably more full than the home side stands, but those home sides see a lot more than this visitor side does. Here come your Warriors taking the field. Left by the fans in their white uniforms, traveling uniforms tonight. The white togs, the white jerseys, the orange stripes looking good. Cheerleaders leading them on to the field. Kenny, uh, you know, a couple of things tonight that you know we didn't know. I was going to find this out early. Trey Williamson be you know, from that you know, quarterback uh, uh, fats out, you know, for a little while. But Trey's one of the leaders, the seniors, plays offense and uh, running back, and was a shutdown corner. And uh, he'll be—he's out for the year. He'll be sorely missed. Yeah, we're going to miss him. Uh, we're going to miss him in a lot of ways. Uh, so some younger guys are going to have to step up uh, through the rest of the season because he's—he's he's done. Uh, and you know the thing about. Uh, uh, Zakirian uh, Wesley, the sophomore quarterback, he's got his PCL uh, either tweaked or ripped or torn or whatever, and it's one of those things that you really can't do much about. And uh, but you can play, you can brace up. So they're going to probably hold him for a couple of three weeks, and and uh, and we're just going to get by with Zabiron. And you know, the thing about Zabiron, he's a great athlete, a lot of fun to watch. But you call a dive, you may get the you may get the vertical and a long pass downfield because he's an innovator. He sure is. He's not afraid to innovate, and he can go when he sets his mind to it. A couple of shout outs. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Ernie Clark out there listening to us tonight, streaming us in, and uh, my old buddy Rat Williams said he's going to be tuned in here tonight. Old James is listening in and one more we'll give a shout out to Old Hookie. And uh, so uh, we got some folks out there. You got anybody in mind tonight? Well, I was thinking about Rat and he's probably on that back porch in that outdoor kitchen and something's smoking <laughs> back there right now. <laughs> There's a crawfish oh, with a cigar. Some of getting, yeah. them getting cooked and eating down there tonight. Yeah. This is my And I tell you what, it's going to go inside the five and field it and fumbled at the five balls on the ground, and the Warriors are going to pick it up, and the Warriors are going to cover him up at the ten. Kenny, that's a well, that gives him a little. 
Ball, he, he, he stepped back in. Well, I saw that last year with uh, Texas A&M. Well for the Bulldogs. I hope this will be a good sign for uh, for Wayne County. Oh yeah, Quentin Bridges and company right there, uh, ready to go and uh, that three-man front. Just gonna keep it and come across the middle and throw it high out to about the 29 or 30, and that may be. Let's see what this guy goes. Looks like a first down, Ken. They lined everybody up to the on the left side out there wide. And they brought a man out across the middle over here. The quarterback rolled their naked bootleg to the right and threw it downfield first down. So here they come with their first down and a two to the left and a single back set with him. The quarterback, Plumley. I had a first down on the first play from scrimmage. He's moving to his left. He's going to break a tackle in the backfield and break another tackle and uh, run back to the line of scrimmage. C.J. Chambers was back there and Sibley was back there uh, putting pressure on him, heading behind the line, Kenny, but he got away. Yeah, just a, uh, just a, that wouldn't nothing but just tuck it and run. That's going to bring up second and ten, and uh, Sibley uh, checking out, and Braxton Lee's checking in for him. We'll get a whole bunch of folks working in and out. Okay, here we go. Two back set for him, a man in motion. There's going to be a handoff around the left side, and he's going to have some running room. He's going to get hard out about the 31, and uh, they're going to drive him out of bounds. It looks like he's going to be... A nice game, Kenny. Yeah. He's going to be short of first down. I, I don't know. Looking at the spot, going to be awfully, awfully close. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's uh, mighty close. And it is a first down. I missed call that. Number two, uh, Darius Royal is back at safety along with, uh, I should get that other safety for you in a minute. Another first down for the Warriors, and here they come with a handoff up the middle and a uh, broken tackle, and there they go down the sideline. Sees him in the second day, crosses midfield, and gets pushed out of bounds by number two, Darius Royal. That yeah. offense is clicking pretty good, Kenny. Yeah, they are just, just ripping off big chunks of yardage here in the last couple of plays. And they're, uh, they're hopping up and down and clapping and leading the band and all sorts of things here. Demetrius Harris is in the back, defensive back, Malik Briggs. Uh, Joshua Page, and I'll see that other cornerback for you over there in a minute. Watkins and uh, Howard are your linebackers. There's another pitcher running around the left side, and uh, the Warriors are going to reel him down after about a four or five yard gain, and then they're going to fumble the ball and pick it up and go again. It looks to me like. We got somebody that's thrown a shoe out there, and I'm, the ball came loose, and they picked it up and went out of bounds further down the field, and I think. That's going to be around the War Eagle 35, Marshall. So the Oak Grove is uh, moving at will right now against this War Eagle defense. C.J. Chambers is a linebacker in there for Wayne County. And uh, Reveron is back to throw as a quarterback. Going to fire one across the middle to a wide open receiver at the 10, the 5. And there's a touchdown for the Warriors. They made it look easy, Kenny. Well, they did. And, uh, you know, that was one of those things. We had the safety split that time, and they just threw it in that big opening in the middle of the field. Like about a 90-yard drive on the, for the possession, opening possession for the uh, Oak Grove Warriors. So they stayed in their case here. That's the Wayne County finds himself in a similar situation he did last week. A, uh, they they gave up seven. Yeah. Quick seven. Here comes the PAT for the uh, Warriors. Soviet's in the kick. Out of the hole of the as the kick is up, and it's going to be good. So we're going to take a 30-second uh, break to the station. A 30-second break, and we'll be back after this word from our sponsor. Uh, we've got 10-10 uh, to go in the first quarter, and the Gro Oak Grove the Warriors are up by a score of 7 to nothing. We've got uh, Zabrian Jackson back deep along with uh, Darius Roy. And number 18 is back there, uh, Robert Arrington. He's a uh, junior. Jackson standing in the middle of the field. So let's see if the, uh, the War Eagles uh, can respond, uh, can answer with some points here. Like to... Uh, couldn't have a better night, though. I think we mentioned it, Kenny. It's cool out here and nice little breeze. And also get a lot better if the Warriors can muster up some offense right now. Uh, it should, should be nice. We need to do something. <laughs> There's a deep kick right there that's going to take... Uh,
Foster going to make one miss, and he's going to get out across the 20 for a first down. You know, that ball, he, he caught it at about the two and then backed up in the end zone, so I guess by rule that's okay to come out with it. In yeah, high school. I, I guess it is. I, I thought once you went back into the end zone that uh, that was it, but I was still trying to look at the number of the guy that caught that touchdown pass. I Somehow I missed that. Well, I couldn't help you. Well, that's okay. I missed it too. It wouldn't be much good. All right. Jackson's going to be your quarterback. And uh, Washington and Page. I said Washington's going to be your running back and uh, single back set. we got a wing back on the left side, man in motion, and there's a fumble snap, and the ball's going to be recovered by Jackson back inside the 15. So that's an uh, auspicious beginning right there. Trayvon uh, Tavion Warren is one of the receivers in the game. Uh, Bryce Mason is a receiver in there. Joshua Page is in there. Of course, Washington is your running back. Hunter Phil, y'all. Dalton uh, Cochran. Cole Turner, offensive lineman. There's a handoff at the middle to Washington, and he's going to put his head down and run out across the. Uh, to the maybe he might have made the 20. Now he's going to be just short. It looks like. So bring up a second down and about. Or uh, maybe 11 or 12. Yeah, he gets. Uh, he got to the 19. Picked up four yards. Third down and. Uh, it's like about 14 yards to go. Two receivers split to the left. The single two to the right. And we got the single back set back there. I don't know if that. Maybe number 36 out there. I'm not sure who the running back is. He's going to fake the fake. His Brian's going to tuck it down and try to go, and he's going to be sacked by the big linebacker at Maples. So Wayne Cannon's going to make their first punt of the year, and they're going to be snapping it from around their 10 or 11. And I take that back. Jack Harris on the stop for the Warriors. Boy, that puts it back around the 12-yard line, so that's a seven-yard loss. Hey Bears on the snap, and uh, Heath Mosley will be doing his punting. This is the punting for the Warriors. He's the, this is the first punt for him. They didn't have to punt last week, and we talked about in the pregame that there'd be a the Web TV pregame show that we'd probably have to punt tonight, and it doesn't take long. Mosley standing in his end zone. Snap's critical here, Kenny. Hey Bears going to get the signal. He's going to have a snap. Mosley's going to field it. And it's not going to be the longest kick. It's going to come down out here about the 45 and take a warrior bounce. And they're going to down it just inside the uh, warrior territory. So that turned out pretty good. 34 yards. 34 yards yard kick. And uh, no return on it. So the Warriors are going to be in business with a first and 10 uh, right out there about midfield. We got 806 to go in the first. And the Warriors took the opening possession and drove about 90 yards for a, for a touchdown. Ripping off 10 yards at a time, so it appeared there, Kenny. Here they come again. Sibley and Lee and uh, Bivens are up front. Let's see, Ravon and Chambers and Howard and uh, Rob Watkins are your linebackers. And here come the Warriors again. There's a snap and a handoff, and he's going to try to find some room, and he does find some room for about six yards up the middle. 7.59 to go in the first. Uh, Oak Grove is now in uh, Warrior territory with their second possession. Lee Van Davis is checking in. To that defensive front. Number 26 uh, for Wayne County out there on the corner. Shontavia Smith. Along with Malik Briggs. Those are your cornerbacks for the Warriors. Second five. There's another handoff. Same play in the same direction and the same results. He's going to have a nice game with a first down. And I don't know... Uh, it's going to be down around the 36 yard line of the War Eagles. Demetrius Harris on the tackle for Wayne County. 44, Jeremy Reed checking in. Rod Watkins checking out. Harris and uh, Page are your safeties, so that gets your defensive alignment for the, for the War Eagles. First and 10 for Oak Grove. They're on the left hash mark, moving left to right. There's a snap and he's back to fake, back to pass and makes the kick pass out there and the reception down to about the 30 yard line. Well executed. Harris on the stop. Ruffin is a, a big old receiver, Kenny. Boy, he sure is. Coach Mangum told us they had a really good, you know, big guy outside and I'm going, if that is not him, he's missing a good opportunity to be it. <laughs> He sure is. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, they're a big, good-looking bunch. All right, back to throw. There's a little pressure. Slant coming across the middle. There's the catch, and he's trying to make his way downfield. Turns up field, and they 
they're going to string him out pretty good, but he's going to get a first down down around the 24-yard line. 6.42 to go in the first quarter. Oak Grove up 7 nothing and driving again with a first and 10 down at about the Royal 24-yard line. Man, they've already picked up three, four, five, six first downs, seven first downs. The Warriors have uh, had one possession and have yet to get a first down. Here comes Plumlee and company. He's moving to his left, going to make the pitch on the option and going to find the seam out there. But uh, Chambers is going to drag him down. Not a horse collar than Kenny. I don't know. There's a flag down out there on the 20. Tackle's made by Chambers. Yeah, that, uh, that could be. He, he reached and grabbed him high. He didn't. He was reaching for anything he could get, and that was all he could get. So Chambers got it, but they're moving it against Old Grove. Got the penalty against Oak Grove. Blocking the back against Oak Grove. Okay. Well, well you know, I'm in the back. Yeah. I'm I missed a good opportunity to call the horse collar, but we'll, we'll take it. Backs him up to the 30. And uh, 6.23 to go in the first. Oak Grove up 7 to nothing. And threatening with a second down and 15 to go. The ball's at the uh, the 30 yard line. Let's see if the. This gives some spark to the defense, and Bivens jumps off sides, and that's going to cost him five. So give him five of that back, so it'll be first and 11. You can track with us tonight on Facebook. You know, all the action that's going on here tonight as well as listening to it live. You can track for checkups and maybe some pictures along the way and uh, things of that nature. Follow us at World of Football on Facebook. So here comes your snap. Going to back out of it. The Warriors are going to settle down and regroup here. At second, about 11 yards to go, like Kenny said. 6:01 to go in the first. There's a man in motion. Plumbers back to throw, looking downfield and going to fire. Down for the Warriors. So two possessions, two touchdowns. 5:52 to go in the first. And the Warriors are looking looking pretty good right now. Sure is. They have uh, they have played uh, played with shown great authority here tonight. <laughs> They'll be on to try their PAT. We're at 5.52 to go in the first. Oak Grove is up 13 to 0. And trying to make it 14. On a snap, Brandon Cloud. Here comes your snap. And your hold, your kick, and it is going to be good. So, 5.52 to go in the first quarter. 14 to nothing. Oak Grove, 30 seconds back to the station. Here we go for one 30-second break. Wayne County, 0. Welcome back. We're preparing to receive this uh, kickoff from the Warriors. And uh, I tell you what, Kenny, Wayne County's going to need to get something going here pretty quick, or this thing could turn into a track meet going the wrong way pretty quick. Yeah, I, you know, Oak Grove is hitting on all cylinders. I mean, they, they look like they're in midseason form right now. And man, they've got some big guys on that field, let me tell you. They're big and all over. And there's a high kick, and Jackson's going to catch it at about the four yard line, and he's looking for somewhere to go. He cuts up field, makes a move, and they're going to drag him down at the 20. So this will be the second time the Warriors have started their own 20. That's where Wayne County will take over. Wayne County will begin first and 10, 5.47 to go in the first, trailing Oak Grove by a score of 14 to nothing. But, uh, sure need to get some, uh, get a spark going here, get a little offense going, and we'll see what uh, what comes on. Some of our offensive linemen, let's see who we're going to have a running back. Uh, Washington's in there, we're running back with Jackson. We got the same uh, setup as we had on the first possession. There's going to be uh, Jackson's moving to his right. He's going to turn it up field, put his head down, and maybe gain a Jackson maybe a, right in. maybe two or three yards. We'll see where they spot it. 5:37 is counting in the first. Second down for the Warriors, and it looks like he got about three yards, maybe maybe three. Dalton Cochran up front. 
Number 67, Hunter Field. Y'all, we got a timeout. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's take a 60-second break to the station. Heat timeout. 60-second break to the station, and we'll be back after these two commercials. Back, and Wayne County is looking at a second, and we'll say seven. 528 to go in the first, 14 to nothing. Oak Grove leads. And uh, Oregon's desperately trying to get some offense going. Washington is your back, and Brian uh, Jackson is your quarterback. There's a handoff to the ball. He's going to pull it, and Jackson keep it, and going to run hard out. Step down. And Nice high front with no return. They yet to return one on him. So uh, That's where they will take they'll get their own 39 with 4 to go in the first quarter. And Oak Grove leading 14 to nothing. Braxton Lee, Sibley, Bivens uh, up front. Watkins and Howard are your linebackers. Outside linebackers, number 30, Caleb Pitts and C.J. Uh, Chambers are in the middle. Briggs and Smith. Royal and Howard are your, uh, excuse me, Harris are your defensive backs. And here come the Warriors with a handoff, and uh, they're going to, Warriors are going to, they had him in the backfield, Kenny, and he got loose and made his way out for about maybe a seven-yard gain. I thought they had him behind a line of scrimmage. He got hard uh, tackle. They did. Uh, Bivens got caught inside. On him and spun him around. We hit him. I could just walk. Oh, Grove looking. Two backs in the backfield. Left, one right. One right. I'm not going to go against the players. He is defense. Morning again. 316 together. We're marking it off against. We're on defense, sir. Huh? I mean offense. Oh, okay, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up with you. Don't <laughs> turn me loose and let me. That's just a bunch of big body players, and they don't have to block you. All they got to do is get in front of you. They are huge. That front, that Barnett is, uh, I tell you what, that, that youngster's a load, the receiver. Oh, goes up 14 to nothing. And 
I hate to say it, but now they're the only ones that stop this. All right. Get some set where he wants him to the right, one to the left for him. We'll give that credit to uh, Jeremy Reed that got back there and got a hand. Third down and long for the Warriors. So the Wayne County's got a chance right now. Yeah, with first quarter to get this ball back. The Warriors, Clinton Bibbins is going to. 14, back to throw is Plumley. Five one. We got coverage, and he. Oh my goodness! He almost caught that ball. Number seven, Harris went up for an interception. And I thought he had it. He went through his hands, and the receiver got it and took about two steps, and it came out. We dodged a bullet right there. Oh, we dodged a cannonball, is what we dodged a bullet. So uh, Oak Grove's going to have to punt it away. They have been their own worst enemy. One forty-eight to go in the first quarter. Oak Grove is leading. To nothing. Darius Royal is back to receive this punt from the Warriors. He's going to be standing in his own 15 yard line. Royal is trying to wait There's a good snap, and he's going to move to his right, and he's going to put a nice foot in it, and he's going to fair catch it at the 37 38 yard line. So, best field position the Warriors have had for the night to get started. 33-yard uh, punt. Well, Wayne County is, uh, this is the first, you know, Oak Grove, excuse me, Wayne County is able to stand going and got the if, uh, Wayne County can capitalize. Just a single team out there playing guard for Wayne County tonight. He'll convert it into a guard. He did that last week. Jackson's going to take the snap, and he's going to hand the ball to uh, Excuse me. Uh, Washington's going to hit it back. I might give him a line. But no, they're not going to do it. No, he's going to lose. Uh, he's going to have to lose. 124 to go in County. Wayne County's looking at a second. He's going to fake the handoff and keep it and get out across to 40 for a three-yard three gain or so. They're going to bring up third down, but they are inside the chains. 105 to go in the first quarter. Oak Grove 14, Wayne County nothing. Ball's at the 41. Third, and we'll say nine yards to go. Number 37 spread out to the left. Left. Got Yeah, he's on. Twenty-nine seconds left to go in the first quarter. They're trailing fourteen to nothing, but they got a first and down and ten inside Oak Grove territory at the forty-yard. Take us back to the station and we'll...
just an ass. You do. Hope the truck goes. Take a 30 station right now while they're tending to the The young man's okay. That's good news. 10:09 and counting in the third, in the in the second quarter. 14 to nothing. Oak Grove with a second and one inside Royal territory at the 48. There's going to be a handoff and a first down and then some. He's at the 40 and he's going to fight his way down inside the 35 yard line and uh, Arrington's going to make the tackle for the Warriors. First down, in Oak Grove. We got an injured Warrior on the field over here now. So, uh, we'll stay here for just a second. Well, they're just hitting the edges hard, and uh, uh, they've got those big guys out front. There's usually one or two or three guys in front of the running back, and I tell you what, Marshall, they're just loading up. They really are, Kenny. I mean, you know, 14 points on 9.55 to go in the half, and uh, the... Yeah, not to belabor a point, but we just give credit where credit's due. You see a mighty good football team out there. Oak Grove is a mighty good football team, and uh, everything's been clicking their way so far, except they did shoot themselves on that third drive with some in the foot with some penalties, and Wayne County did what they needed to do defensively. They, you know, they held them and got the ball back for the offense, but the offense couldn't 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 make it happen. That's, I believe. Uh, Rational Lee got shaken up a little bit. He's uh, making his way off the field under his own power. That's a good thing to see. Sibley and Bivens and Howard are, uh, excuse me, Davis up front. Rod Watkins. No, I take that back right now. Watkins is uh, Howard's one uh, outside linebacker. And uh, Jeremy Reed is the other one. Revon and Chambers are in the middle. Well, he's got 14 in it running back set to the Yes, left of Plumley here. He had a couple of touchdowns rushing last week. That's the big linebacker, and he's uh, probably going to see him carry the ball a little bit. And there he goes with it. And Wayne County's going to drop him for a loss. Let's keep doing that. Let's see. Uh, Levon looks like he got back there. Was the first man on the spot. Second down. Number 27. Let's see who that is. That's Briggs. He was out there rooting around a little bit, so that gives some outside of change for a second and 12 with 9.27 and counting in the first half with a 14 to nothing Oak Grove lead. They leave the big man in there, Kenny. Well, they might as well. They, uh, they ran him back in, uh, back into the motion, the motion to this side, and uh, he's a fake to him. He's looking to throw. Going to fire one downfield. Got some coverage down there, but uh, just too much receiver. Uh, that was... Uh, that was uh, Smith in coverage. He's 5'7", Kenny. Smith is 5'7", and I said too much receiver. That receiver is 6+. plus. Yeah, he's, he's a big guy. And, uh, uh, he got a first and goal down here. I mean, he was in, you know, Smith was in position, but, I mean, 5'7", 6'2". I mean, 6'2 is going to win pretty much every time. First and goal for the Warriors inside the 5. There's a... Uh, Pass out there to the end zone and a touchdown for, nope, nope, stop at your play. Yeah, we got a flag. Either we lined up in the uh, neutral zone or they've got an illegal formation. False start, they said. 9.02 to go in the half. Wayne trails 14 to nothing. Oak Grove's threatening with a first and uh, goal to extend their lead to 21. They're at the nine-yard line with a first and goal from the nine. They still got the big man, Maples, in the backfield, the linebacker uh, slash running back. And Wayne County's going to come off sides, but it looks like a tackle for the Warriors move. Let's see who he goes on. Should go against Oak Grove, but 77 backed up for yeah. anybody else move. Again, Oak Grove has cost himself another five yards. They're out to the 14-yard line with a first and goal. I mean, I think here you just line up, throw it to one of these big, long, tall receivers on a fade or corner route and uh, just let it go. Yeah. We'll see what they do. They've had great success with it so far. And he's moving to his right. He's probably looking to throw. He's going to run it all the way, kid. He's going to turn up field at the 10, and uh, they're going to gobble him up down the 12-yard line. So there's about four warriors tackle Plumley. He did. He's regained about. 
play. We got got to the 11. If they spot it where they should and they don't, they put it on the 10. So, so we got yeah, a uh, yard. 11 yard line. All righty, at the 11, we got a uh, second goal from the 11 with 8:32 and counting in the first quarter, or the first half that is. Oak Grove threatening to extend their lead. Here they come, trips left. Plumlee's moving to his. Uh, Right, and he's going to tuck it down and run it. He's going to run hard toward that end zone and be tackled at about the four, maybe the three-yard line. Plumlee on the quarterback keeper tackles made by C.J. Chambers. Chambers on the stop. 8.14 to go to the in the, the first half. Down, down. Oak Grove with a third and goal from about the four-yard line. Third and goal from the four. Wanting to extend that. Seven fifty-three, sixteen seconds on the twenty-five second clock and counting. So here come the Warriors. Two receivers both ways, single back set. They got the smaller, quick guy back in the backfield now. Plumlee's back to throw. There comes some pressure. A pitch and catch down there, and they had him tackled at the five-yard line, Kenny, and he broke about two tackles there. Two Warriors had him, and he just broke loose and ran into the end zone. What number do you think he, he threw to? You tell me. Number two. Number two. Big number two. So the Warriors go up 20 to nothing with 7.37 to go in the first half. And they're on to try to make it 21. Subia's gone for the PAT. Now the holder. Trying for the PAT. Is, there comes the snap. Kick is up, and it's uh, mighty good. I'm going to say one thing about this. We'll take a 30-second break to the station to be back. 30 seconds to the station. 21 to nothing, 7.37 to go in the half. Here's a 30-second break to the station. Go Oak Grove 21, Wayne County 0. Uh, I'll tell you, Wayne County needs to get some offense going. They haven't... Uh, I guess Oak Grove scored on every possession but one tonight. Yes. Wayne County, uh, I think, might have gotten one first down so far in the... Ah, no, they got down there pretty good while ago. They only got a couple of first downs. But here we go. Here's the kick. It's going to be high, and it's going to be fielded down here by Jackson at the 11, and he's looking for somewhere to go at the 20. Turns inside and goes airborne, and that, uh, he had him stretched out. One had him by the leg. The other one bent his neck backwards, but he got up. Good to Zabrine Jackson, ready to go. So the Warriors have got themselves a the football with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line, trailing 21 to nothing. And they're all it's line. now or never. I better not say that, but it'd be a good time to get some points, Kenny. Yeah, I tell you what, it's uh, you know, they give it. Uh, you feel around, give Oak Grove another score here in the first half, and you're looking at another one of those miracle finishes <laughs> uh, because it's going to put us in a in a pretty deep hole, and uh, you know, it's just with our bunch, it's going to be tough to dig out of that hole. There's a hand. I know a fake, a uh, little razzle dazzle, and you're going to fire one down here to a wide open. Receiver and some pass interference down here, I do believe. What they did, he caught it. They ruled him out of bounds. We can say a lot about that. It looked like he was mobbed down here. They ran a flea flicker, Kenny, and they threw the ball back to Jackson, and he lost one. Royal was, uh, excuse me, not Royal. Yeah, Royal was wide open down here at the 40, and he had to wait on the football. And he caught it while he was being mugged, and it out of bounds, but... That's all well and good, but second down and 10. Morning against Wayne County. Second down and 10. Second and we get a sideline warning <laughs> to go with it. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Perfect. Mercy me. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Absolutely. 7.24. 7.24 to go in the half. 21 to nothing. Oak Grove leads. Second and 10 for the Warriors from their own 25. Missed opportunity right there with some razzle-dazzle. Jackson's looking to throw again. Going to fire one out here. A wide open man's going to take it at the 35-yard line and going to get a first down. Joshua Page on a I believe he's got a first down, Kenny. We may have. You've got to wait and see where we spot it. This bunch, it's uh, everything's downhill back toward us. So, uh, let's see. Do they give us a 37? Wow. There's Moses. There's an old man with a stick in the parking lot. Another miracle. There we go. 6.56 to go. Wayne County with a first and 10 out at their uh, 26 yard line. You know, it's a nice throw by Jackson uh, out there to the left, kind of uh, by a little out pattern down there. Washington's in the backfield. There's a man in motion. Jackson's moving to his left. Keeps it. Turns up. He's got some. He's a 50. And they drag him down at the 40. 
Well, he did a good pick his own side and found a seam mark on just turned straight up field and uh, did a good job get it down into, into Oak Grove Warrior territory to 44. Norris where he checks in at running back for his first action of the year. He's a linebacker for the last two years and uh, got him playing uh, got him playing running back now, but we got a timeout. So here's a 30-second break. We'll take a 30-second break, and then we'll be back after this word from our sponsors. I want to talk about him a little bit, Kenny. He played linebacker for Wayne County. He's a 215 pound guy. Coach Mangum told me before the season started they were going to try to run him back a little bit, try to get some power in there. And uh, He's a big, strong kid. He hadn't had his first carry on the year, but we'll see. He may get one here in a minute. And uh, that was just a misread situation there. It looked like Norsworthy went on the wrong side of Jackson, and Jackson was left holding the bag, and he gets tackled back at the 50. Yeah, he, uh, well, he got hit actually around the 46 and knocked backwards to the 50. Uh, boy, I tell you, this Oak Grove bunch would get after you. Third down. All right, it's 608 in County. Third down and 11 yards to go for the War Eagles. And uh, we've got a heat timeout. Heat timeout. So 60 seconds this time back to WABO. 60 seconds, and we'll be back after these two words. All righty, we're back with the third and 11 to go for the War Eagles at the uh, Warrior 46-yard line. 6.02 to go in the half. Wayne County down by 21. Jackson's back to throw. There comes the pressure. He's lost his one down here to how uh, Royal and overthrows him. Brings up a fourth down. We had to get rid of it in a hurry. They, they brought the uh, corner blitz on him on, from the near side here. He just had to go ahead and heave it up and get rid of it. Mosley is going to uh, be punting it away. The scrimmage line of scrimmage will be the Warrior 46. 5.53 to go in the half. Oak Grove 21, Wayne County 0. Return man for the Warriors is standing at his 10. Mosley is standing at his 40, waiting to receive a bear snap. Thompson back needs to receive. Mosley on the clock for you. There's a set. To, there's a good snap. Moses is going to take his time, put a nice high spiral in. It's going to be fair caught down here. A fair catch, but step away and let it into the end zone, so that'll come out. 46 yards. That'll help his average. He's a he's a really good weapon that we've got. I mean, he's a he can you know kick and punt. He does a real good job for us as a senior. Well, we get a chance to try to stop them for the first time tonight. We hadn't stopped them all night. The, uh, the the one drive where they did punt, Marshall, as you said, they had several penalties that just set them back, and uh, they just got had more yardage than they could manage to pick up in a couple of plays. So we'll see now if we can find a way to slow them down. There they come. There's a flag on the play, and uh Pass out here is completed to 30, and they're going to be breaking tackles, and the Warriors are going to run out to the 40, but there is a flag in the backfield. Tackles made by Harris. So we'll see what that's all about. Harris on the stop. It's going to be an offensive penalty, I think. Those, those receivers are strong, Kenny. They're all moving a lot, too. <laughs> you know, I want to say this. Uh, Kenny's doing a, we're outside, we have trouble transmitting back and forth sometimes. And Kenny is like, a, man, I don't know what, he's a, uh, He's like that guy with all those hands in Men in Black 1 delivering that mail. He's turning knobs and keeping stats and doing a commentary. So you're, you, you're, going, you're approaching Paul King status here pretty quick with all the work you're doing tonight, Kenny. I appreciate it. I can only hope to be a satchel coder. <laughs> all righty. First and about 15 to go for the Warriors. Their ball is back inside. They're down about their own 15-yard line. 5.35 to go. In the half, Oak Grove up 21 to nothing. It was a fast first quarter. This second quarter slowed down some. There's a plumber who's going to keep it around the left side, and the Warriors are going to get after him and strike him down hard at about the 18-yard line. He runs hard, Kenny. He does, and we did a good job of hitting him that time. I mean, we didn't. Nobody pulled any uh, 
40 of the punches. They're going to show him down actually about the 18. It went down. Yeah, they put some uh, put some uh, leather on him some. They got him out there and spun him around and lit him up pretty good. But he was up for the challenge. Second down and about 12 yards to go with 5.05 and counting in the half. Oak Grove 21, Wayne County 0. Here comes Plumley and co company. And there's a handoff up the middle. And uh, how he got out of all that, he he did. But he's uh -huh. close to first down yardage. But we got to either hold or illegal block. It's a combination of both over here. Yeah. Number two had a handful of white jersey. <laughs> Out of back him up. Looks like number 33 for Oak Grove is kind of cramping up a little bit. He ought to be. He's been running all over the place. Yeah, he's already got about 200 yeah. yards rushing. You know, as good as Oak Grove is, and as good as they've looked, uh, I got to say that... Uh, if there's any, any problem they've had tonight, it's been penalties. 4.50 to go in the half. We're looking at a Go ahead, Kenny. Yeah, I was going to say, after that penalty, you still only got a second 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Plumlee's moving to his right, and he's going to make the pitch, and he's going to get out there. Uh, Warriors going to get at him somewhere down there around a 16-yard line or so, maybe 17. Going to be third down. They're still outside the chain. Third down. I'm going to go ahead and lay the scenario out, Kenny. Wayne County gets the ball, scores, and then scores on the first half. we got a seven-point ball game. That's what we need to happen. That's what we need to happen. Oh, absolutely. 4-11 in counting. Oak Grove third and about 13. That ball spotted somewhere right there on 16-yard line. Inside four minutes in the half. Plumlee's got a single back with him, and he's got two receivers both ways and a massive offensive line in front of him. He's got a timeout call, Bo. Timeout. 30 seconds back to WABO for a commercial, and we'll be back after 30 seconds. 3.50 to go in the half. Oak Grove 21, Wayne County 0. Oak Grove is uh, down here at their own 16, 17-yard line with about a third and... 13 to go. That the scoreboard does not have down and distance on it anywhere I can see. I can't find it on there. It's a nice scoreboard, but it leaves a... Uh, it's good for us. It's got the time, the score, and the quarter, and that's it. And here come the Warriors trying to convert on this long third down. Plumlee's back to throw, and he's going to fire one out there that's going to be caught. And, uh, no, incomplete pass. Incomplete. incomplete. He threw it down there. Scrimmage, just a quick out pass there, and the Warrior uh, defense again will say Oak Grove shot themselves in the foot, but the War Eagles didn't let them get away with it. And so, Warrior did a good job, and uh, uh, the uh, finally got a semi legitimate stop on them. Maybe they're just getting tired. <laughs> 345 to go in the half, 21 point lead, 21 to nothing for the Warriors. and Royals back here at the 50 yard line. And uh, they do that running rugby style kick, Kenny, and I just can't stand that. <laughs> They're running around. It almost looked like he was running the doggone thing before he kicked it. But anyway, he kicked it. And uh, Wayne Cash got the ball inside. Kenny, where are they spotting that thing? That was one of them. No, 23 yard kick. Ball's at the 41 yard line, so that's a break for Wayne County. This is the best field position they've had, or right at it. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it, it, you know, I, there's just, I just want, part of me sometimes when I see that, I want to see somebody run up and tackle <laughs> the punter. All right, empty backfield. And uh, there's uh, Washington was in motion, and he hit it toward the line of scrimmage a little. Too soon. That's going to cost Wayne County five. All against the War Eagles. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we talked about that a little last week. I, I kept thinking that we were angling our motion toward the line of scrimmage, and uh, that's sort of iffy. I mean, yeah. like, like this, you can get it called on you. So yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Wayne County is going back to a single back set with Washington behind Jackson. 3:34 to go in the half. 21 to nothing. No go. Now Wayne County is looking at a first and 15 at the 46-yard line. 
of the Warriors. A little motion back here. Mason moving back. Jackson's back to throw. He gets under duress. He's going to have to move around the right side looking downfield. Fires a shot through the hands of Joshua Page. Pass pass and the uh, flags on the play, and K-Dogs calling pass interference. Uh, under the yes. They call defensive holding. Uh, uh, unless they call us with a pick. And they may call us with an illegal pick. Well, let's see what they do. It's uh, 3.27 to go in the half. They're going to be walking. Nope. Defensive hold. All righty. Well, it's hard to get a guy open when he's being, when he's being held. That's, uh, that's going to put it at the 35, 36, which should be first and five. First and five, as Kenny says, 227 to go. And uh, the War Eagles are uh, about as good a position as they've been offensively tonight. Jackson's looking to throw. He's going to fire one. He's going down here. here and That's how they play. There's a flag on the play now. I don't know if they called that on uh, Oak Grove or not, but Kenny, well, he, he had it. Yeah, he was holding it. The ball was out of bounds, but uh, I don't guess that's going to matter. No, there's not any. Holding, it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. Okay. And again, Oak Grove hurting themselves with the penalties. Wayne Cash got another first down. They're moving the ball down here. Looks like they're on their way down here. There's a 20. They did about the 21 yard line, first and 10 for the, Take the, ball down to the Oak Grove. For the Warriors. Right. It's 320 to go in the half, yeah, 21 to nothing. Uh, Oak Grove. Wayne Cash is almost in the red zone, Kenny. Well, we've almost ran three plays and <laughs> got three penalties and finally get a first down. Northworth is in the, uh, yeah, in the backfield. He's going to get his first hand off, put his head down, and going to get rocked, but he's going to move forward, so he's going to get down to about the 20-yard line. Give him a yard. Welcome to the world of running backs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he got, he got tagged at the 20-yard line. Yes, he did. Second down. And that when you see, uh, you, you know, at times we were used to uh, last year and last week we were seeing our running backs make contact and then move forward. And against this bunch, when they make contact, that's where it stops. Yeah. All righty. Jackson's quarterback, Norris, is behind him. And Jackson's going to look to his right and going to try to find somewhere to go. Going to fire one down here toward the end zone. It's just a pair of receivers and defenders down there. He split the difference with them. Everybody was covered. And... Uh, he just, he just threw a bullet and zipped it through the middle. And third down and about nine to go. 2.38 to go in the half. Wayne County trails 21 to zero. And I guess we can say they're at the 20 now, so we can say they're in the red zone, huh, Kenny? We can also say that this year we're in field goal range. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We haven't been able to say that in a number of years. Yeah, three know. sure better than nothing, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> All righty, Jackson uh, is your quarterback. He's looking to throw, looking all the way. That slant coming across just too high. Uh, uh, number seven, uh, Harris was on a slant pattern, and Jackson threw it just over his head. Fourth down, and let's see what uh, the Warriors are going to do. They're going to call timeout. We just will stay with the action here. Kenny, what do you? I hate to ask you this, but uh, what do you think? I mean, I, just like I used to tell you, I try not to because it makes my head hurt. Um, I play here, uh, you're down 21. Uh, you, you can probably get three if you go for the field goal, which is what I do. I mean, you at least get some points out of it. Now, there's another line of thought. You know, you got nothing to lose. You're down three touchdowns, and uh, field goal doesn't help you that much. So, you, you know, you go for it. But I, I think... Uh, especially looking down the road, district play that we kicked the field goal here. Yeah. Well, that's what they're going to do. It's going to be a 33, uh, 32 yarder, I do believe. Uh, 37 yarder. Isn't it? He's kicking from the 27. Yeah, you're right. 37 yarder. That's why you're the man. All right, a 37 attempt. Mason, uh, hold it. Mosley's going to. Here comes your snaps. A good snap. Kick his snaps down. Kick his up. And I tell you what, Kenny, he's he got looks it. like it's going to be good. good. So that's a 37-yard field goal for uh, Mr. Mosley. So with 2:30 to go in the first half, Wayne County finally gets on the board with a three, a big field goal, 37-yarder. He's had a 34, a 37, a 
a couple of 37s, I believe, this year, and also a, a 24-yarder. What a what a weapon he is. Well, and again, it, it's an opportunity to work on something that, that you're going to need down the road. And uh, certainly, uh, you, you take that opportunity every time you get a chance. I'd like to get a word out through our Facebook page. And, you know, the stream, I don't think Jamie uh, texted me from Weibo wasn't working at the beginning of the game, but I think it's working now, according to Jamie. So uh, if you're out there trying to get it on the stream, you can uh, – you can try it again if you tried it and couldn't get it. If you got somebody want to know, you can tell them that it should be up and running now. Uh, 2.30 to go in the in the half. Wayne County trails 21 to 3. Moses on the kick it away. He's going to approach the ball and put a foot into it. It's going to kind of squib it down here. It hits the 20. It's grounded 20. Caught it to 15. Here come the Warriors up the field and making folks miss and giving ground. And Wayne County's going to get after him and tackle him back at about the 23-yard line. So... Good coverage by the Warriors. So that's, uh, that's one of the things you, you just see a lot in high school when you, you got a chance to pick up 20. So what you do is you run backwards to 15 <laughs> and uh, settle for seven. <laughs> you know, chance for 20, backwards for 15, settle for seven. I got it. All right. Yeah. I got the ball spotted at the 25-yard line. Wayne County trails 21 to 3. 37-yard field goal by... Senior kicker Heath Mosley, 22 23 to go in the uh, half. I think what you see Oak Grove do here is uh, just rip it down the field. There's a handoff around the right side, and there they go, ripping it down the field. Kenny out across the 40, and uh, Wayne County's going to tackle him at about the 40. He's going to do another first down for the Warriors. Tell you what, 21 is not a bad running back. They all look pretty good tonight. Got Ryan Jackson out there playing both ways. They got him on the corner in Trey uh, Williamson's absence. Jackson's going to have to do some of that. There's a handoff uh, and another big run, and they're going to get across the 50. And Page and uh, Davis are going to hold up pretty good, but he gains nine yards before they do. Inside two minutes now, 21 to 3. Oak Grove leads. We're looking at a second down and about one. Go ahead, Ken. He went back to Plumlee and said, Did you get the license plate on that trail? <laughs> it was a big lick, but he got nine yards out of the carry. Plumlee's going to hand it to him again, and they're going to drag him down from behind. Lee Van Davis is going to drag him down from behind, and he's going to be short. He's, he's, I think he's going to spot it about the line of scrimmage. Going to bring up third down and about one. Short one. 125 and counting in the half. Wayne County trails Oak Grove 21 to 3. Wayne County got their points on the 37-yard field goal. Oak Grove scored on all but two of their possessions in the first half. Here they are to third and one, and uh, Plumlee's moving to his right. He's going to turn up field and get himself a first down at the 30 at the 45-yard line of the uh, of the Warriors. First down. There's one minute and three seconds left to go. In the first half, Pitts on the stop. Royal checks in. Harris checks out. Briggs is out here on the corner on the left side. Jackson's on the right side. There's another. Uh, Plumlee's going to fake the ball to keep it running himself. He's inside the 25 and breaking tackles. He's inside the 10. Down to the 5. Touchdown. Oh, great. Uh, Tell you what, he's an athlete. He is a really good athlete, and on about a 40-yard touchdown run right there. And they had a, a lot of Warriors had a shot at him, but they could not wrap him up. Here's the replay, and he makes one miss. Watch this move. He breaks another one out there. He breaks another tackle right there, and then outruns the final War Eagle down to the end zone. And there's just not a whole lot you can say about that. It's such a great play by a good high school football player. Brandon Cloud to snap. That's he was go ahead. about a 42-yard run, 45-yard run. I believe you're right. There's the PAT, and it's good, and it's 28 to three with 43 seconds to go. We're just going to stay with the action here, ride this half out. So we're just going to stay right here. And I see some uh, Wayne County, a couple of Wayne County faithful heading for the door. There, <coughs> I use that term loosely. <laughs> well, they're trying to get in behind that crowd at the uh, outback. <laughs> That's a 75-yard drive, and they only took 43 seconds left. 
Oh, it, look, it took them less than two minutes to go 75 yards in five plays. Brendan Sobey, that's all for the All righty. Jackson back deep to receive. 28 to three, Oak Grove. 43 seconds left to go in the first half. And uh, right now, Wayne County's in the woodshed. <laughs> Been over. <laughs> Trying to find something to grab. Trying to find some help up in here. Trying to find some relief. 43 seconds to go in there. There's a kick that's going to come down here at about the six-yard line. I believe that's Jackson with it. He's headed straight up the field, and they're going to hit him at about the 25. He spins and gets out to about the 28. Correction. 29-yard line. That takes the clock down to 38 seconds. I imagine one catch is going to get the to start the second half. I dare say with the success you've had so far, you just kind of hold on and hope for the best and get to the locker room if you can regroup. Yeah, you're down, uh, down uh, what, three, four scores. Mm -hmm. And uh, Plumlee and his crew will probably get, after the third quarter, get a rest <laughs> in, the, in the fourth. Start planning for the next week. Outside, one on the left, no backs in the back. It's just a quarterback draw for Jackson, and they get his face mask and about pull his head off. It's going to be with 35 seconds to go, but we'll move the ball up the field a little bit. That was a quarterback draw all the way. He had four receivers to the right side, one out to the left. Jackson took the snap, looked. That's going to move the ball out here to the way the 47-yard line That's the first and 10. 36-yard penalty. That's a good one. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, all the way up to the 47. All righty. First and 10, Warriors at the 47. They're on 47. 31 seconds and counting. Same formation. Four receivers right. There's a little toss out here to Washington. He makes the catch. And the Warriors are going to hem him up after about a... He gets to the... Five Warriors. Uh, seconds to go. They were 13 seconds to go. Could get one more playoff. I don't know if they're going to get to the line of scrimmage and get it off or not. No. Hey. 28. Wayne County. We're going to take a break and go to a WC Web TV halftime show, and we'll uh, be back with you after the halftime show. With four scores, 28 to, to three, and uh, this Oak Grove bunch is, uh, they're playing in a tough league yeah. uh, in that division, and uh, our division is going to be tough. We, we should match up a lot better with some other folks down the road. You know, Kenny, in a way, this team could be struggling with a little of identity crisis right now. You know, we lost a starting quarterback last week. We lost uh, starting uh, Trey Williamson for the season. Uh, you know, we found that out. You know, you and I found out that today. He got hurt and he's out for the season. And he's a start. He's a shutdown corner, and he's a starting running back. So, yeah. you know, you put your identity in your quarterback and your best two-way player. And you, you know, they probably trying to get their feet under them a little bit without those two guys. Yeah, I mean, they any rocks at uh, Zabar, Zabar no. in any stretch. No, he's a great what, player. What they were hoping to do was use him as an athlete, move him up across the field and use him in a lot of different ways as a wide receiver, play him on defense some, and, of course, now he's got to step up into this role. And, uh, and so, yeah, see, in, you know, about three weeks or so, about yeah. point game maybe, and, uh, you know, he was breaking in a couple, three weeks, more weeks to kind of rest up. Then brace him up, let him play. I mean, we did it with Drexler. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, this has got a lot of potential. Half off from Wayne. <laughs> but he got an extra five yards, so give, give him credit for it. Yeah, uh, he showed some great speed on that thing, too. It looked like they had him around the 10, and he got the corner, and off he went. Stepped out at the 
So uh, 28 to 3. Old Grove, Wayne County. Uh, start this second half. And uh, we'll see what happens right here. Zabrian, and, you know, talking about Zabrian Jackson, he's been playing both ways tonight. I mean. Yeah, he's, he's played some defense. And, uh, and, and, you know, the thing is, is he's. He's a quarterback that's really, really athletic, but he's not your, you know, he's not your prototypical quarterback. Yeah, he's a, you know, like I said, we're not throwing out. He's a, he's a great athlete, and like I said, we just got him right now with a high snap, and uh, goes through his hands, and Joshua Page catches it, and they uh, tackle him back inside the twenty. That was uh, very. Well, that, that snap was. Tough high. Stop. We, we've had a couple of those uh, tonight. Got to get center settled out. Michael lost six yards on that exchange. It's a good thing Page was there in motion to catch the thing or no tell. Yeah, he saw it. I mean, you can tell he, you know, he, he picked up on it right away. I mean, the thing is, most high schools, when you, when you, most high school teams, they're going to put their best athlete at quarterback. All right, there goes Jackson moving to the left, and they're going to tackle him. He's going to maybe get to the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by Nate Shannon. Don't bring third down about 15 yards to go. Oak Grove here uh, has a good athlete that uh, can play a lot of things, and they've got this Plumley kid. He's a great athlete, and they've got him at quarterback. And uh, he's, you, you can see the decisions he's made tonight have, uh, for the most part, been good ones. I mean, I don't know uh, one or two mistakes maybe that he's made, but th that's saying a lot for a junior in high school. All righty. Third, about 15 to go for the War Eagles. They're inside their own 20. Jackson's back to throw, moving, trying to get other. They're getting after him and got him back inside the five. He's going to find one. He was covered up, had nowhere to go, kid. It's just a jailbreak. Uh, Pun situation for War Eagles, 10 29 to go in the third. Yeah, they threw a net over him down there, and he didn't have any choice. You know, that didn't work out very well in that Gladiator movie. No. <laughs> no. no, it didn't. Took uh, the net and trip, tripped the big guy up in the big hat and then stabbed him twice. <laughs> I tell you what, Jackson did a good job of getting out of there and get that ball away. He was covered up by some uh, pretty high powered defenders back there, but he was. An offensive penalty, unless somebody lined up in the neutral zone for Oak Grove, um, I would guess that's against Wayne County. It looks like you're right, Kenny. Hey, had a great snap. That was the best snap we've seen. I mean, he nailed it. Chest high out front where he wanted it. Boy, now you're, going, you're more than likely going to give Oak Grove the football here midfield or in Wayne County territory, even if you do get a good punt. The line of scrimmage is a 15. Moses standing at the goal line waiting to the snap. There's a pretty decent snap. Moses is going to get a nine-footed. So it's going to fall that hit the 40. It's going to roll to the 30. It's going to roll to the 20. Down to the 15, the 14. Pretty good spot right there, Kenny. Uh, that is going to be. Let's see. Mostly, I mean, you know, 36. Marshall, that is a 71-yard punt. That's the longest punt I've caught in county history. I want to say Ben kicked up one time. Lamont, <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin could punt it at Memphis for a number of years. He made it to the next level. There's a good chance that this young man right here might make it as well. Oh, great. Got the ball uh, at their own line or so with a first and 10 and a 28 to 3 lead. Plumlee's back to throw coming out firing and they're going to get after him and they can't catch him. He's going to make a completion and Seaver's going to get out to the 30. First down. Oak Grove. Tell you what, that was a really, really good play on Plumlee's part. He some time. He's running back actually downfield and uh, they got themselves out out to, from the 14 to the 35. And 9.57 and counting in the third, 28 to 3. And the uh, Warriors out with a fresh set of downs. And there's a handoff around the right side and another nice gain on first down. He gets across 40. Going to probably get six or six yards on the carry. So it'll be second. And four. Shout out to our super fan of the week. 
Trent Odom out there from Dallas Fort Worth area. Trent and all of our other super vans help make our broadcast possible. Trent, we really appreciate you and what you do to to bring War Eagle football to the War Eagle Nation. All right, there's uh, Plumlee's going to fake it and keep it around the left side. Here he goes with some room, puts a foot down, makes a fake and gets to midfield and gets taken out of bounds. First and ten for Plumlee. Tell you what, again, he just showed his athletic ability and uh, yoked the hard and uh, he just did a good job. That was, that was his ball away. First down in midfield, 9-13 to go to third, 28-3, Oak Grove. Oak Grove's on the move. They started back there inside their own 15, three or four plays later. They're out here at the 50 with a first down. Braxton Lee over the nose there, Sibley and Bivens, and there's a handoff up the middle and more running, but uh, number 44, uh, Jerry Reed, is going to make the stop there for uh, probably about a three-yard gain. The ball's at the 48-yard line of the War Eagles, 48, second and eight to go. We'll say second, and, yeah, we'll say second and eight for the, for the Warriors. 8.44 to go in the third, 28 to three. The Warriors lead. That kid in the backfield back there, that number 85, they line him up back there. He's got to be 6'5", 250. All right, there's a man in motion. And there's going to be the handoff around the left side. It's a running room, and there goes another first down for the Warriors as they get down to about the 38-yard 30, line. They may say the, where they spotted. Going to be this first down and 10 at the Warrior 40 for the Warriors. 8-18 to go in the third. Wayne County trails 28-3. And the Warriors are on the move. Well, when you got somebody like that that you can run, you run these sweeps off the edges, and man, there just ain't a whole lot you somebody. Fire one downfield. Wayne County's got coverage down here, and it's going to be almost intercepted, but there's a flag on the play. That was uh, our 5 7 corner back there in coverage, and uh, he made the play on the ball. Almost had it picked off. Let's see what the play well, now, here, Here's the thing. He had position. He had position, and uh, he had the, the inside position there. And so I don't know if they penalized Wayne County. Uh, that should be offensive pass in the field. Defensive play. Give him credit. Pass interference against the offense. He's a player. You called it, Kenny. He's a player. That 6'3 guy can, can beat me. I'm not buying that. <laughs> That's what I love about high school football. One of the things I love about it, 7.54 to go in the third, first down. And I for uh, lead. There's a handoff around the right side. Quentin Bivens is going to round his shoulders and just bulldog him down. You get another three-yard loss. So uh, Wayne County has got them backed up big time. They're back at their own 46-yard line with a second down. and I'm going to call it second point nine. That's about a four-yard loss. There you go. All right, seen it corner. Smith, uh, Smith checks out. Plumlee's going to move the right, look at He's going to fire one down the field, and uh, Wayne County had a great defensive position on the ball. They're going to call that was uh, Briggs in coverage, and they call the flag. I don't see that penalty, Kenny, but flags on the field. Uh, they'll probably call it on Wayne County, but again, we were on the inside and the uh, offensive guy was doing some pushing and pulling too because he knew we had position. But I'm afraid this one to go against Wayne County. Yeah, Briggs was between the ball and the, uh, between the quarterback and the receiver. Going up here around the 47 or 48 yard line or should be. Yeah, you called it, Kenny. You are on the, you are the, I'm going to change your name from Kenny to, to Money. Uh, that's K Money. That's still instead of K Dog. 
All righty, it's a 7 8 and counting in the third. 28-3, Oak Grove with a second down and about 15. Now, they're back inside War Eagle territory at the 44 of the War Eagles. There's a handoff, and, uh, oh, Caleb Pitts is going to be there and uh, make the tackle. If they got a face down. Well, it, if it's not a face mask, there was uh, this uh, guard over here for uh, Oak Grove was doing some pushing and pulling on one of the defensive guys for Wayne County. Looks like they're going against Wayne County. Yeah. Face pass. First down. So from a third and 29 to a second and 29 to a first down. It, the the uh, penalty bus is getting a hold of Wayne County a little bit here in the second half. First, about the Warrior 30 with a 28 to 3 lead, 6.54 to go in the third quarter. Well, you go and first and 10, mm. first and 29. To, oh. Starting to assert himself a little bit in the second half. We got a defensive lineman making some tackles, and you know, we talked about that. And that's that was running the same thing. So far in County, Hope Grove's looking at the second from the right side that Oak Grove Warrior goes. He's inside the 15 down there and out of bounds. And there's a late hit against Wayne County. So that's going to add to that run. Yeah, he went out around the 13-yard line. It was a Brian Jackson on the tackle. Going to third. Oak Grove is a first and go. Out of bounds, which gives them a first and goal from the. All right, they kick one with it. Five fifty-five to go in the third. With the first. All righty, here come the Warriors trying to extend. Make a little motion for what's happening. Look, that moved. I guess he can do that. We got a timeout. We're gonna stay. We're gonna we're gonna stay here a minute, and then we're gonna talk about some of our super fans. Our super fan of the week this week is uh, Trent Odom, and we appreciate him. Our other super fan is Freddie Miller. He was our super fan of the week last week. Ben and Barbara Graves, Jeremy Wright, Lester Mitchell, Carly Beasley, Cassidy Beasley, Gary Jackson, Gary Sigler, uh, Trent Odom, of course, Charlie Britton, Elmer Miller, and Tommy Miller. So we really appreciate our. Uh, Super fans, as we do all of our sponsors who help make our broadcast possible. Another picture we got going this year is uh, you can watch the replays on uh, WCT Cable Channel 10 of these games every Tuesday and Thursday night at 7 o'clock, and you can find the games on demand at wc-web.com, and uh, you can watch this action and see it back on those two uh, media. Forms. Okay, first and ten for Oak Grove. Let's see if they uh, be trying to extend their lead and see what uh, Plumley and company can accomplish against this Warrior defense right here. Plumley's moving to his right. He's run all the way. He's going to put his head down. Touchdown, Oak Grove. Touchdown. He had uh, 85 and 14. And, uh, they had us outnumbered. Uh, he just took it on into the end zone. Score to 34 to 3, and they'll be by the people. After attempt, on the hold Snap is Brandon Cloud. Alrighty. Here comes the PAT. Try to extend their lead to 35, and there's a kick. It's up, and it's going to be 
good. So, 550 to go in the third. 35 to 3. Oak Grove lead. We're going to take a 30 second break to the station and we'll be back after this word from our sponsors. 30 seconds. 550 to go in the third. 35 to 3. Oak Grove has extended their lead. We don't have Jackson back to receive the key. We got Page and uh, Harris and. Uh, Let's see, there's Royal back there to receive this kick, and there's the kick, and it's going to be down the middle of the field, and Royal's going to take it at the three-yard line. He's headed straight up the field. Going to cut, fake a move and break a couple of tackles and run hard out to the 24-yard line. Royal with another nice return. I'll tell you what, he's got a good set of hands. He really does. He had a big catch for the touchdown in the end zone uh, big last week against West. He's got some, he's got some good hands on him. And he's a speedy guy, too. He's there deep. They've tried to get him the ball several times deep tonight. Hadn't been able to hook up with him. J.J. Walker is checking into the contest, number 40, the big sophomore running back. We're going to try, see, uh, try his hand at it a little bit here. It'll be his first. Uh, he was in earlier but didn't get a carry. He's, uh, Jackson's going to fake the pitch and get buried at the line of scrimmage. Jack Harris on the stop. One of those D1 defensive ends they got. And a one yard. Give him a yard. 529 in the third. 35 to 3 Oak Grove. Wayne County second and nine from uh, inside their own 25. And heat timeout. Got a heat timeout. Here's 60 seconds to the station. We'll be back after these two words from our sponsors. Back with a second and nine. From about their own 24-yard line, the War Eagles. J.J. Walker is your running back, and he's going to take the handoff at the middle, put his head down. They're going to push hard and get across the uh, 25 for a pretty nice game there, Kenny, on first down right between the tackles there. Tyree yeah, a little, Jackson, little opening over here to the near side. J.J.'s got us in about a third and five. And a five yard. Inside five minutes in the third. Give him five yards. Inside five minutes with a 35-3 Oak Grove lead. J.J. Walker stays at running back. And uh, looks like a hard count right there by Brian Jackson's going to draw the Warriors off sides, and Wayne County may have him a first down right here. Off sides on the defense. Let's see if it's enough. Lord, I do believe. Let's see. Nope, first down. Should be a first down because we had a third and less than five, so there you go. Should be out around the ball. Should be around the 33 That's if I got my mark right. Wayne County first down. All right, 4:56 to go in the third. 35 Oak Grove three Wayne County first and 10 Wayne County from their 30 uh, from their own 33 yard line. JJ Walker stays in the backfield with Ryan Jackson. Mason's in motion. Trips left to the and we uh, looks like uh, Wayne County has some confusion. And had to call a timeout. We'll come to action here. Kind of remind everybody that uh, you can follow the War Eagles. Uh, www.wc-webtv.com. We'll get those games posted on that website for you the following Wednesday after each game. Wes Jones is up. This game will be up next Wednesday for you to watch. Facebook at War Eagle Football. You can track along uh, for updates uh, on the Facebook page You know, during the game and all during the week. And then again, Sean Dunlap helps us out there at WCCT Cable Channel 10. That's uh, Tuesday and Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. You can watch uh, the War Eagles play on the local channel TV, delayed broadcast. All righty, first and 10 for the War Eagles, and here they come. And let's see who we got back there. I'm trying to find out who that running back is. I can't see his number. That's Norrisworth. And there's a slant pass to Demetrius Harris through his hand. It was a little high. Could have been caught. It was a nice, uh, really not a badly executed route and throw. But an incomplete pass. That's Norrisworth back in the backfield now, number 36. Converted linebacker to running back for this year. Second and ten 
for Wayne County with 432 left in the third quarter, 35 to three. And there's a handoff up the middle of Norris Wood, and he's gonna get out across the 35 for a pretty nice carry, about maybe four, four yards. Wayne's were the Wayne Wayne County dodged a bullet with maybe a little motion out here on the receiver the end, but it's gonna bring up third down in about seven. On the tackle for Grove. Four oh four in counting, thirty-five to three Oak Grove. Third and we'll say seven yards to go, eight yards to go for the War Eagles. There's your snap. Jackson's back to throw. Going to fire one across the middle. It's going to be uh, trying to get to Page down here at the 45-yard line of the Warriors, but an incomplete pass. Double coverage. Yeah, safety for uh, Oak Grove was just hanging back, back playing center field. He did a good job to react to that because if he doesn't, uh, we get a chance to catch that one on the run. Wayne County, Mr. Mosley uh, was mighty busy last year, last week. He didn't punt. He's kicking field goals and extra points. He's been busy this week punting. <laughs> well, we talked about that in the, the tape, you know, we, we made before the game there that uh, we would probably get an opportunity to make up for last week this week. Hey, we snapping. He's done a really good job snapping the ball. Really good. There's another good snap. And, uh, Moses is going to get another punt off in a good roll. The War Eagle faithful are wanting a little running into the kicker situation down there, but I don't know about that. But either White, way, White Hat guy says he tipped the ball, so oh, maybe, okay. I don't know. I don't know. We're kind of with the ball down at the 28-yard line of Oak Grove. 338 to go in a third, Oak Grove 35, Wayne County 3. And I'll tell you one thing about this Wayne County crowd, folks, and it's here. There, I saw two people get up and leave earlier, but uh, these Wayne County faithful that's what I call faithful fans right there. They're hanging in here, these kids out taking on this warrior 6A powerhouse tonight. Probably has a warrior's gonna run hard and gonna get a pretty nice game. Thirty-five to three with three twenty-four to go in the third quarter. Oak Grove lead with the ball and a second and five yards to go. They're in their own territory at their own 30, 38 yard line. Plumlee's getting his crew set down here, ready to go. There's a. He got away. The other way, where the attackers came in and him at the line of scrimmage. Revan with back-to-back uh, -back tackles there. I wonder if they sprayed him down with WD-40. He is really hard to get on the ground. And then he's hard to hold on to. <laughs> uh, third, we'll say five. 2.26 to go in the third quarter. Oak Grove's up 35 to three. That's their own 38-yard line with a third and five. There's a from his face, head off, moving to his right, and going to pull up and make a pass, and it's going to be uh, juggled and caught. caught. Yeah, he took a big hit. Demetrius Harris hit him, and he turned the ball loose, but he was able to keep his focus on that kid, which a good receiver will do, and make the first down catch. That Barnett has been a weapon. He's just a junior. We're inside two minutes to go in the third, 35 to three. Oak Grove with a first and 10, a fresh set of downs. They're at their own 26 yard line. First and 10 for the Warriors. Plumlee's uh, getting them set, single back set to the left. He's moving to the right and he's gonna keep the ball and gonna be tackled. Uh, uh, Rod Watkins is going to get back there and make the tackle. Bivens giving him a little help, but no, excuse me, Sibley. Second and ten for the Warriors. 
121 to go in the third. The score is 35-3. Oak Grove leads Wayne County. All right, here come the Warriors. There's going to be a handoff around the right side. They string him out. They're going to get him out of bounds after about a one-yard gain. Knocked out of bounds by Watkins. Watkins on the stop. Sibley out. Braxton Lee in. 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. Oak Grove 35, Wayne County 3. Third down and uh, just outside the chains it looks like. So we'll say third and 10. I am really surprised, Marshall, at, at as much success as they had throwing the football that they just hadn't lined up and hummed it down the field. Now, Plumlee, is, they've called timeout. timeout well, we're going to take a 30-second break to the station, and we'll be back after this word from our sponsor. All righty. We're at 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. Oak Grove Warriors have on the board as compared to three for the War Eagles. 37-yard field goal by Mosley is the only point. The War Eagles have been able to muster. This is a third down and 10 for the Warriors. They're at their own 46-yard line. Here comes Plumlee and company. Tell you what, I throw the number two down here on this edge. Yeah, that's that matchup you're talking about, and uh, they're going to try to throw it. They got a man wide open at the 30-yard line, makes the catch. He's at the five. Touchdown, Oak Grove. Uh, they brought number two in, and then the little fellow wide receiver went out and down the sideline and uh, wide open. Picked him up. Yep. Yep. It's 41 seconds to go. Now we'll uh, 41 seconds to go. 54 yard third. touchdown pass. 54 yard, K Dog says. Wrong for the PAT. Right. Right. Somebody that's on the kick. Are they holding Tanner Slay? Snap with Brandon Cloud. This uh, guy, this guy's got a real good kicking motion right here. He's just as steady as a rock. Not bad kicker at all. So with 41 seconds to go in the third, the, the score is well. It's a penalty, so we'll see if it stands. It'll be 42 to three. Dale Terrius Thompson, five six or five eight, 156 pounds, and he takes Outside it to the house. Wayne County. Wayne County's offside, so let's kick it again. You know, that's a rule, Kenny, that, I mean, on these extra points, they ought to have the right. They have to take those penalties, don't they? Yeah, it's, it's, it should be after. We know Pedal lost. Uh, lost the state championship on a yeah. play like that. Yes, Olive Branch. I was there that night. That was quite a game. There's a kick. It's up, and it's going to be good. So, 41 seconds, 42 to 3. Seconds to go in the third quarter. The county's managed three. Hard field goal by senior kicker Ethan Mosley. They have scored 14 in each quarter. They scored two touchdowns per quarter tonight. Is that what you call a balanced offense? That's what you <laughs> call old fashioned butt whooping. Royal's going to work hard and break some tackles. And uh, how he got to the 20, I'll never know. The 20 and uh, out at the uh, 20 yard, 30 seconds left. In Oak Grove players are feeling good. They're dancing to the beat down there. Not so much on the Wayne County side. Well, you're sitting there with a 39-point lead. 
Uh, it, it, you can do a little something. All righty. Norsworthy is back in the backfield with Jackson. 30 seconds to go in the third. 42 to 3. Oak Grove, Jackson and company. Try to get a little offense going. Jackson's looking to throw. He's going to fire one down here, lock one down here, try to get it to Page. Just picked off at the 40. <coughs> He's down there at the 20-yard line. And uh, first and 10 for the Warriors at the 20-yard line. Seven, 17 seconds to go in the third. Oak Grove is first and 10 at the Warrior 20. We might see some substitutions on this Oak Grove uh, side of the ball now. I don't think so. You think they're going to leave the hammer? I, the I believe they're going to put their foot down and keep it on the gas. Well, let's see. I'll be surprised if they if they pull the horses now. And a quarterback for the Warriors, yep. number 18. Okay. Game time Friday night experience here. And uh, there's a handoff, and uh, C.J. Chambers is going to back through there and tackle the man single-handedly back there for a loss of about five yards. This the third quarter. And uh, three for Wayne County. Oh, go. So we're going to take a 60-second break to the station and be back after this word from our sponsor. 60-second break. Yeah. It's, a, it's a media guide. And, and so, uh, they're special members. Uh, hey, man, but anyway... There's a handoff, and uh, he's going to be tackled for another loss. And I believe that is uh, number 99. Gregory Robinson gets to there to tackle for a loss. So, what a two plays, two tackles for losses, third down, and long way to go. 11:42 to go in the contest. 42 to three. Oak Grove leads it. Wayne County will be home next week against uh, the number one ranked team in uh, 3-8. The Jefferson Davis County Jaguars come to Wayne County next Friday night. There's a fake pass and a pitch, and it's picked off by Malik Briggs down inside the 10-yard line. So, there's a interception for the Warriors. Holy smoke, that's on the six-yard line. Boy, <laughs> gonna say, not so fast, my friend. Not so fast. You gotta draw the line on this thing here. And let's see. Jackson comes back in at quarterback, and we got J.J. Walker at running back, big number 40. So like Kenny said, the Warriors are deep in their own territory, about the six-yard line, 10.58 to go in the contest, 42-3, to three, and Oak Grove lead. Let's see if they try Mr. J.J. Walker up the middle here. And they do. And he comes out across the 10-yard line, out to about the 11 or 12 on a nice first down straight-ahead carry. Well, that was a good run, good blocking. They've still got several of their starter guys in. I was looking 14 still in, 15, the two big defensive ends. They're still in. Second down, about four yards to go for the War Eagles. J.J. Walker stays in the backfield. He's going to get another try at it. He's going to put his head down, and they're going to drag him backwards. Let's see. He got a little forward progress, though. He got out to about the 14. So he's working on it, 42 to 3, 10, 12, and counting to go in the contest. Third down and about a yard, maybe two yards to go. Walker's making a living there, running between those uh, right up the middle. 
Let's see if they try him again, Kenny. And they know they do. Jackson's going to pull it out here and throw it out here to number five, and he's going to get tackled for a loss. That's uh, Riley Ballard on the carry. That's going to lose yardage, and we're going to get to see Mr. Mosley again. Reception for Wayne County. Tanner Slay on the tackle for the Warriors. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, it, in essence, no gain. That pass completed for, for no gain, so we'll punt fourth and two. Mosley standing on his uh, goal line. Hey, Bear's done a really good job snapping to these punts tonight. There goes Howard sets the snap. There's a low snap. Mosley picks it up, gets a foot in. He's going to kick it high. It's not going to go very far. Looks like it's going to be a short kick. You know, go out of bounds. So uh, he had to get down there low to scoop that one up. They're going to spot it out here to about the 38 yard line. At the 37 yard line. Eight, the Warriors will take over. 8.52 to Let's go in the contest. 42 Oak Grove. Wayne County, three. Mercifully, the clock is still running. Warriors at the uh, War Eagle 42 yard line. Uh, 30 37. 37 yard line. I'm going the wrong way. I'm like that trains, planes, and automobiles. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm out, okay. Did you ever see that movie, Kenny? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good movie. Uh, John, John, uh, Kennedy, Candy, Candy. John Candy, like Steve, Steve Martin. Steve Martin. All righty, this is uh, 8.35 to go in the contest, and uh, we got a timeout, and uh, we're going to kind of hang out here a minute. we got the, a lot of uh, pageantry here, the nice crowd, and both bands, or Wayne County band down here is playing away, Oak Grove band on the other side, it's just a lot of real festive atmosphere, even though it is 42 to 3. Yeah. A lot of folks still having fun. We ain't for one of them. No, over, no, 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 we're not. All right, first and ten for the Warriors. And let's see, there's going to be a handoff around the left side, and uh, Warriors going to defend that pretty well. He's still going to get about five, four or five yards, though. Yeah, I think they'll give him, uh, let's see, we're on the 37, and it looks like the ball's on the 33. Tackles made by Chambers. Chambers yeah. going to stop Revens, uh, kind of limping off, and uh, Pitts checks in to take his place. Like a second down about, about six. six. Yeah. Inside eight minutes to go in the contest. There's a high snap and a little mess right there, and they're going to tackle him for a loss back out to about the 34. 7.45 and counting. 42 to 3, Oak Grove. Yeah, the ball brings up a third down. At the 35. Third about eight to go for the Warriors. There's a lot of difference between this group and that first group they had on the field. Yeah, considerably. But here we go with a nice run and a broken tackle and a first down for the Warriors. Just as soon as we... <laughs> Tell you what, a good run by that youngster. He kept his feet. He got hit real hard. He really did several take some times. Got down there and got the 23-yard line with a first and 10 for the Warriors. They got seven minutes to go in the game and a 42-3 lead. And Oak Grove says, how about we try to get a little more on this thing? Let's see if we can break 50. Tell you what, it's been a long time. Got a time out. We're going to take a 60-second break to the station. 60 seconds, and we'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Here's one more. Of course, the War Eagles do too, but they don't have the football right now. And Oak Grove's going to jump off sides. And that'll cost them five. So it'll be first and 15 with 6.41 to go. And the uh, clock's That's running. The Warriors. They stop it at 6.38. Back them up five. Warriors approach the ball. With the first and 15. The clock's running again at 625. 42-3, Oak Grove. Two backs the quarterback. Two receivers to the left, one on the right. Ball's on the left hash mark. 
That's going to be a handoff around the left side. And, oh, they're going to sniff that out and stop them. I believe that is uh, number 14. Number 14 on the stop. That's Mr. Cole Walters for the War Eagles on the stop. So that's back him up a little bit. Second down. Correction, Johnny Smith on the carry. 5.53 in the left in the contest. Oh, Rose in no hurry to get to, they, they taking their time. Just letting the clock run. This one's pretty much settled. There's a same play they run a, over and over and over again, but to no avail, just a short gain right there. So, brings up third down. Pitts on the stop for the War Eagles. We're at five minutes and counting in a 42-3 ball game. Oak Grove leading, looking at about a third and 14, maybe 15 yards to go. Got 20 seconds left on the 25-second clock on the Warriors' uh, approach line of scrimmage, and they're set with 14 seconds to go on that clock, on that 25-second clock. They're going to snap it at about nine seconds. There's that handoff around the left side, and once again, he's going to be stopped. And uh, Smith on the for a minimal gain, if any. Davis on the stop. Go ahead, Kenny. I'm just going to say it that uh, they're just doing that and run the clock. I think he's down right along the line of scrimmage. They gave him. It looks like they gave him maybe a half a yard. Brings up the fourth down. Four fourteen to go in the contest. Fourth down for the Warriors at about a fourth and fifteen. They're inside the War Eagle thirty yard line. That's somewhere around a twenty seven, maybe twenty eight. Inside four minutes to go in the contest. Inside eight seconds on the 25 second clock for Oak Grove snaps it. And there they go. Nice run around the left side and he's going to get down to the 20 but they're going to turn the ball over on downs. And Wayne County is going to get another crack at it here. Turnover on downs. I think we may see a new quarterback for Wayne County here. And if we do, I'm going to dare say that Jalen Ayers, sophomore, 5'9", 183-pounder. First down, Wayne County. Balls at uh, the Wayne County. Still 336 in county. We're 20-yard line tonight. Yes, we have. We're 20 friendly. We, we, we've enjoyed our time there, at least initially. <laughs> All righty, Ayers is your quarterback. Northworth is your running back. Ayers got a high snap and it's on the ground. And uh, Mr. Ayers is able to get on it. So I lose some yardage and be looking at a second down. Yeah, well, oddly enough, this is, uh, what do they call it? Uh, I mean, a long long deja vu or whatever. We're ending on the same note we started deja on. Deja vu <laughs> all over again. Yeah. Let's see, that's about a, they lost about 10 yards on that thing. Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. 2.48 to go in this game. Harris is moving around, going to run it, try to get out here on the corner. He's outside the hash mark, and they're going to string him out, keep him outside the chains. Well, on the tackle for the Warriors. He had a game, but minimal. Brings up a third down. Third down for Wayne County. Hey, let's see, 15, more or less, mostly less. 2.16 to go in the game. Wayne County's had a good crowd that's hung in here. They're starting to leave now. They have. But they've hung they in have. here good. Inside two minutes in the contest. J.J. Walker's in the in the backfield. Harris just takes a snap and going to move his right and going to be dragged down for a big loss inside the 10. 45 to go. Jackson. Uh, Moses. Uh, 
about an eight yard loss. So that'll be four. And we shall punt with a minute 15 left. Let's go. We're gonna do our thing wrap up. I think they wrapped a quarter and a half ago, didn't they? Yeah, it looked like it. Let's see what we got here. We're inside a minute. Mosley standing at the way back, <laughs> way back in the end zone. He gets a good snap. He gets a nice punt off. It's gonna hit the, uh, roll out to about the 45, 46. 48-yard line, so he got a nice roll. He gets a That's good roll on his that Yarder. That'll help out 23-yarder he had a while ago. All right, 35 seconds to go. Key, this thing, mercifully, is almost over. Oh, my goodness. Man, it's kind of waiting on that. It's like waiting on that chemical to get those army worms in the pasture. <laughs> yeah. You're sick over the loss, but you're happy that it's finally, they're finally dying, you know? <laughs> yeah. They, they quit wiggling. They quit wiggling. 29 seconds to go and a stopped clock. I hate to wrap this one up. There's a, it's 42 to three. We only got a field goal and everything else was Oak Grove. That's about as good a wrap up as I know to give. We'll do a quick exit. There's the knee. That's probably gonna be your ball game. Would you say so, Kenny? I would certainly hope so at this point. All righty, so Wayne County three, Oak Grove 42. Next week, the Warriors will be home and take it on Jefferson Davis County. We'll be live on WABO for a 7 o'clock kickoff next Friday. Remember, you can follow the War Eagles all week on Facebook at War Eagles Football and also on the Internet, where you can watch the games from start to finish on demand at www.wc-webtv.com. Special thanks to the WC Web TV crew, Ken Roberts, video production, along with Sue Wood, our social media coordinator, and Tony Reynolds back at the station, seeing that all this comes together for us and you. That does it for tonight. We're about to head back to Tony at WABO. Kenny and I, along with the rest of the WC Web TV crew, we'll see you next week for more Wayne County High School Warrior of Football. Take us out of here, Tony. All right, here we are, bus game. Coach, not a whole lot to act. I mean, you, you, what do you say? I mean, you, you said your mama said it'd be days like this. The football team. Well, it is. I mean, outstanding football team. You know, it's like I told Paul right there in the post game. They're not 39 points better than us. They were tonight, but we helped them be 39 points better than us. So, you know, anything other than a natural disaster that ha that can happen happen tonight. Uh, yeah, we just like this. We just get injured players. Next man up. This game's in the books. What do you think, the team? What? Well, we're going to do this character check game. I mean, we're going to find out what, we're going to find out who we are. You know, it's always easy to come back after a win, but it's after a loss that you really find out who you are. But we'll find out who we are. You know, last I tell you, we started out 0-4, and, and, and you had that mantra, keep chopping, keep chopping, and they chopped and chopped, and y'all had a big run. You stay away from the South State last year when it was all said and done, you know, like you said, we, I, I just believe this team would. Right I do too. You know, Marshall, it's all about just going out there and putting this one behind us. This one's over. There's no way we can rewind it and replay it. Um, and, and it's over. It's gone. It's done with. We're one and one. And uh, we're going to play next week at home. Listen, we appreciate you taking time. We'll see you next week, okay? Thank you. Thank you. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with the Dream and K-Dog after this work with sponsors. We're talking Millie and Vanilla here, and they had one. I can't stand the rain, buddy. It rained on the War Eagle Parade tonight, like Coach Mangan said. Give us a shot right quick there, Paul. It's pretty easy to do. Bright spot. It's Yard average, 20 yards on the ground.
the kicking game. Especially in turn yards. But uh, anyway, it gives you know, one of those things you take your licking and you, you go back. Uh, you know, we'll get film room Sunday afternoon and coaches will be working and, you know, I'll take a look with them and I'm not going to offer them any pointers at all. But uh, just take a look at it. And you look, you find the things that you really fouled up, which in this case will be a long list, but you find them and you work on them. And, uh, you know, you, yeah, these kind of losses, you uh, if you suck over them or you, 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 you let them linger, uh, you know, people think it's real trivial when a guy says, well, we've got to put this behind us and move on to the next one. But it's the truth. I mean, you can't dwell on uh, the bad. you got to pick the good out of it, find the bad things and fix them. And, you know, that much we're going to play next week is not going to be a bunch of slouches. Yeah, let's say bye-bye. For Louisville High School. First game last night. He said, we forcefully shut. A lot of that happened out here tonight, and this coaching staff will take that and build upon that and make the corrections. Wayne County has to see you next week.